everyone you welcome back to my channel good morning to you good afternoon and good evening i'm greeting you depend on wherever you are watching me you are highly welcome for my return subscribers thank you for coming back so thank you guys how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing well yeah you can see i'm smiling i'm fine all right so thank you for joining me i love you guys and stay blessed so in today's video i want to talk on how you can stop the moving objects in your body or in your system all right so this particular questions has been coming like oh lady p i have something moving on my head i have something moving on my waist i have something moving on my stomach i've gone to the hospitals i've did a, a series of texts and all of that still it keeps happening all right sometimes moving object is not ordinary sometimes it's as a result of food you ate in your dream all right people can project it through into your life through your dreams all right so that is why you need to take your dream very serious or it can be a projection all right but today i'm going to share you i'm going to share with you how a natural way you can stop this kind of movements wherever you are experiencing it you guys welcome back again so what you need in bringing this number one is garlic and another thing is salt but the salt i am talking about is not this salt that we are using to cook all right i am talking about those olden salt we use we used to call it local salt all right so though those days people use that particular salt to cook food but you know that salt is not that blended like the normal salt now so don't worry when you go to the market people that measured salt you know those measured salt just buy it you can be able to count pieces of that salt because it's not that well blended okay now when you get this salt and you get this uh, garlic now this is what you need to do this is a seven days assignment and believe me you will experience it no more so number one the first day what you need to do is this count seven garlic seven salt all right peel that garlic peel the garlic back and that's what two of them put it under your pillow then before you sleep at night take three salt and three garlic okay <laughs> and three salt all right and put it inside water that is do it every night now the one inside your water you are going to use it to bet all right as you are betting remember when you are using all these things garlic has some spiritual res uh, how do i put it that resist spiritual attack it resists witchcraft it does a lot of things if i should be mentioning the benefit of garlic is you we cannot end this video today all right okay now after putting that salt inside that water you are going to use that water to bed please if you want to bath don't use soap don't use sponge you are using only that salt and the garlic water then after you've done bathing you allow the water to dry on your body now that seven salt and seven garlic that you're putting under your pillow you are going to lie down with it then when you lie down with it early morning you use your left hand please don't use your bare hand you can wear something in your hand you can wear nylon you can wear hand glove then you use it and take it and go and throw it out of your house don't put it in your dustbin here just throw it outside your house but let's assume where you are living is not where you can throw it outside because of the environment use a black nylon <clears throat> a black nylon and tie it very well before you put it in your bin now the next day you repeat this you repeat you repeat this process all right then remember i said seven garlic and seven salt under your pillow three garlic and three salt in your betting water this is how you are going to do it for seven days all right that one that is inside your water if you are better you'll be praying that god should remove all these things this movement you are you are passing through in your head or in your chest or in your stomach or in your waist anywhere you are having this spiritual movement 
all right then this is how you do it then after that you are done but believe me if you do it from that first day to seven days you will experience it no more even if it's natural it's going to stop if it's spiritually it's going to stop it's going to destroy it if it's something that you're eating through your dreams you're going to neutralize it if it's a projection you are going to wash it out of your life remember all these recipes work very well especially when you attach serious faith with it especially when you attach serious faith with it even if you go to a prayer house and pastor is praying for you and you don't have faith that this thing that the pastor is praying or you go to a spiritualist and the person is doing work for you and they don't have faith that this thing that this person is doing to me will work you are just wasting time faith is the number one answer to whatever you are doing in life aside of work aside prayers even on your in even even in your normal life you need faith if you wake up early morning and you say oh, i don't know if i go to my shop today whether i will sell you will not sell all right because you have spoken it out of your mind and you don't have that strong faith that you're going to say you will see that you will not sell so anything you are doing in life please number one thing is your faith believe and it will work for you like i said all these things is a natural things it has nothing it has it's not something that when you stop all those things will come back again but all you need to know in life is that we are living in a wicked world you see the enemies you see the wicked ones they don't rest that's what you will know. So if you are the type you praying and maybe you pray and you got an answer, you went and relaxed. Maybe when tomorrow the thing happened, you say, oh God, go answer. But the enemies, they are always awake. So that is why you need to, that is why you need to activate your spiritual life as well. Activate your guardian angel and make your life to be awake as well. All right. So all these things, it has, it has nothing to do with diabolic. It has nothing to do with evil. It's just natural thing. And most of the times, if you are doing it, pray. If you are Christian, open your Bible. Any Bible verses you open, you pray. If you are a Muslim, pray your Quran. All right. We are praying to the same God. All you need to do in life, keep your hands clean. Don't think evil against somebody. Don't wish evil against somebody. All right. And you see the universe blessing you. You see the universe protecting you. That is my own to you. So if you are having any object or any movement in your system, go ahead and do this recipe. And believe me, you are coming back to testify. I love you and stay blessed. See your girl from me saying bye.